Time for Sink or Swim. We have a special edition this Memorial Day. Army veteran Pete Hegseth against Marine veteran Johnny Joey Jones. Go. I've been trying all day to get the questions from your staff. <laughs> they will not give it to me. Good. We've they trained them you know, well. The good thing about the green room being there on time is I get to see the faces. I just don't know the questions. Okay. There we go. It's not like it's going to help. No. <laughs> Category is who's hungry. Just because you're angry doesn't mean you can't find time to have a snack. Which top Democrat was caught snapping into a Slim Jim while talking to Mike Pence over the phone on January 6th? Is it Nancy Pelosi or is it Jerry Nadler? Who is snapping into a Slim Jim? I don't want to. I know the answer, but I don't want to tip off Joey. Oh, that's how that's I, I do work. know the answer. You know the answer. All right, well, so yeah. Joey's okay. got to go first. Yep. Right here. Joey's got to go first. Okay. I'm not Both looking. going with Nancy. Ah. Who is it? Okay, and that calls back. Okay. <laughs> I did guess, but I guess because apparently that was take your documentary crew to work day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the last part so, of the question gave it away. Yeah. All right. Well, that's like the only thing that Nancy's done that actually makes me like her. <laughs> so good for you, Nancy. Categories, right. stay in your lane. Which rich Democrats driver was arrested this week for criminal harassment and witness intimidation? Was it Michelle Obama's <laughs> driver or was it Paul Pelosi's driver? I know what I got. You got me with Paul Pelosi, your boy, of course, but I'm going to go Michelle. Michelle? Two oh, Michelles. I'll, yes. See, if Paul Pelosi had a driver, we wouldn't even know his name right now. Right? I mean, <laughs> well, Primetime would know his name. You would know his name. <laughs> anybody would. Well, who is it? When they go low, we go high. There we go. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. She only hires the best. There we go. Was it Feinstein's driver, driver that also was a Chinese spy? Yeah, yeah, we have to, yeah. Can Democrats maybe just hire some better drivers? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One Jesus time. Christ. All right. Category, holy guacamole. Who had tacos for lunch yesterday? Was it Joe Biden or was it Jill Biden? <laughs> I know this one. <laughs> oh, he knows it. Oh, I know well. it. I know oh, well. it. I'm going to throw it. I know it. I'm throwing mine. All right. Throw it up. Yeah. Uh, this is a Joe. tiebreaker. It's uh, the big right. guy. Yes. Yeah. That sir. makes sense. That I, makes I think sense. technically he had a quesadilla. Was, do we, do we know that he had a quesadilla? It was $4.50 and he left, I think, a $40 tip. Hold up. But, the people. but we don't know that Jill didn't eat tacos. See, I, I feel like there's an appeal <laughs> process. <laughs> like, right? Not, I mean, uh, I'm up by one. Okay. <laughs> Very good. For that. Very good. All right. This is a big one for you, Jones. I know. Here it is. You ain't black. Joe Biden upset black Americans this week with his empathetic comments about his son's crack addiction. One outspoken host even blamed Biden for destroying black America with the 86 drug bill. Who was it? Was it Candace Owens or was it Charlemagne the God? And that's spelled T-H-A. Either of them would have made that comment. So you don't know this one. I do not this know. This is the first I one you the don't other know. Ones. I know this one. You, you know, know this one? one. Yeah. I want to look All at right, your... so Pete has I to wanna, go first. I want to look at your paddle, but I'm not going to. Uh, I feel like she's been in the news a lot, so I'm going with Candace. He's going with Charlemagne. You're going with Candace. What is it? Joe was responsible for the drug laws that put so many black people in jail for smoking rock, just like his son. We're going to the tiebreaker. What do we do with the tie? We We have a tiebreaker. Never. This might be our first tiebreaker, maybe our second. We have the tiebreaker. In our last segment, I don't know if you guys watched the show in the green room or... In your office, Pete, we showed two (laughs) radical climate protesters throwing tomato soup on one of Van Gogh's famous paintings. They glued themselves, you know, this is the tiebreaker. How much was this Van Gogh painting worth? I know oh, you guys were art boy. history majors in college. Hold on, is there a, you know, I don't, what do you call this that? This is who is closer. Multiple, multiple, who is okay. closer? This is why it's a tiebreaker. Okay, I've got mine. I've got mine too. I'm going to go 60 million. 60 million? 35 million. 35 million? Pete Hegseth wins. It was 82 yes. million. I'm sorry. I, I Joey, protest. I'm really sorry. What so are you both, protesting? Both of you didn't Ring. watch the show before coming well, on. Well, I'm going off what it's worth now that it's got tomato soup all over it. All right. I, you I know what? I'm having dinner. I don't have a Slim Jim. I got a hat for Pete. Sink or swim? You hat. Like can it. swim. You might find yourself down there in uh, that little... If I come on and win some down low. If I ever, we go. If I ever <laughs> win this, I don't want a hat. I want a pair of socks. Okay? All right. We'll get you socks. Yeah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Give me on that leaderboard. Give me on that leaderboard. Congratulations. Yeah, Pete's going on the board. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.